Welcome back to the channel. My name is Forrest with Lightstep. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to instrument a Node.js application with OpenTelemetry. OpenTelemetry is an open source project uh, whose purpose is to create a unified SDK to uh, emit trace, uh, metric, and log data. The idea being that you are no longer locked into a specific vendor uh, whenever you are creating telemetry data from your application. Suffice to say, if you want more information, go to opentelemetry.lightstep.com and you can certainly check out opentelemetry.io. But enough of that, let's jump right in. Thanks, Pass Force. Let's go ahead and jump right in. To get started, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have a Node.js application handy. If you don't have one, down in the description of this video is a link to a starter, the exact one that I'm using and that I will be instrumenting here just now. You will also need a Lightstep account. So head over to lightstep.com, create an account, uh, because in there you need to grab your access token. You can find your access token uh, by clicking on this little gear right here, the settings gear, scrolling down within your Lightstep account to the access token pane. Here you can see I have a number of tokens here. You can create a new one, but the default one that is there already, you can just go ahead and use that. And that's it on the setup. The second thing that we're gonna do is go to opentelemetry.lightstep.com. This has the instructions that we're going to use. Uh, I will scroll down to the JavaScript section, click on Node.js, and here, there's really just two things that we wanna do. Uh, first, npm install this dependency, and the second is configuration and wrapping our code, uh, but let's do that here together. So I'll copy and paste this. I will open up uh, Visual Studio uh, code, which is what I'm using. Let's paste that there, that's installing the dependency. So while that's running in the background, I'll go ahead and grab the next part here, uh, which is uh, initializing this and, and setting up our configuration. Jump back into code, uh, or Visual Studio Code. So here at the top, you'll see I have two comments for uh, you know placeholders for where to put, put this. I'll just paste over that. So really there's two things here where we're pulling in uh, this dependency, and then now we need to configure it. Uh, the access token, that is the one that is in my Lightstep account, so I'll go back over to Lightstep to grab my access token and paste that here. So our access token is pasted, now I want to name my service. Uh, let's just call this Hotel Node.js example. The very last step per our instructions is to just wrap our application code in the sdk.start method. So I'll just do that now, let's do sdk start then and throw a little anonymous function in here but type it out correctly uh, and we'll just move this these last brackets to the bottom and that is it we are now done instrumenting our service now we do need to run this uh, this server JS also has a uh, client.js that just hits it over and over again uh, if you're using this repo, that's how you'll do it. In general, OpenTelemetry only generates spans when your application is doing something, right? We're looking at the performance of operations. So if those operations aren't happening, you're not gonna see any telemetry about them. Uh, just a quick little gotcha there. But in any case, let's go ahead and run our server.js and our client.js uh, here we see that this is just uh, pinging it over and over again, and now we can jump into Lightstep to view our traces. So there's two places where you'll see this data show up in Lightstep. Uh, first is in the service directory. This is kind of the home page of the application uh, as it is today. Here you can see all of your services reporting in the operations on the boundaries. And this workflow here is really geared towards letting you quickly identify the root cause of any regression in your system in just a few clicks. For now, because we just have one service reporting into our environment, we'll jump over to Explore. Explore is a real-time view into 100% of our trace data. We can query it, slice it, and dice it to any degree of cardinality. It's a really powerful mechanism to understand our system at scale. But for now, we'll just view a trace because we just are using an example app. And we can see these operations, its, it's uh, child spans, all the metadata on the right, these attributes, uh, and their relevant log events. So that is it for this video. If you have questions about OpenTelemetry itself, 
definitely reach out to us. We are on the governance and technical board uh, and are uh, huge contributors to the project. If you have questions on LightStep itself, LightStep being the first platform actually designed from the ground up to understand trace data at scale and provide observability in the microservice-esque environment that we all live in today. Again, reach out to me at forest.lightstep.com. Add any of your questions down in the comments below or shoot me an email. However you want to reach out to us, we would love to talk to you. We're here to help either way. And with that, I will see you in the next one.